Hey there YouTube, pause here once again. So today we're going to talk about guitar picks. These are the Iron Age accessories. This is spearhead bone and horn picks that I've got here. And I actually received these picks a few weeks ago now. I had to move house as you can see in this video. And that means that I've also had a good chance to dig in with these picks and really test out their point. So the point that these guys have, the, the end, the whole point of this review, if you will, uh, is, is the most interesting bit because I really don't like Jazz 3s and this is a Jazz 3 styled shape, but it's very flat, which makes it easier for me to control. I find that rounded picks or even, even big picks that are like a few millimeters thick that are even beveled in still do not provide me the same amount of comfort as just a regular flat out pick like this does. Uh, that all being said, it is made out of horn and the other one is made out of bone and I mean it's 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 animal parts it's kind of strange but it sounds pretty good and I mostly wanted to test how long the tips would stay pointy and so far so good I've had a bit more playtime on this horn pick and I still really enjoy it now of course these picks are not uh, particularly thin in fact they're thicker than the standard fare that I usually like but their chirp isn't so unmanageable I've learned that the more economy picking style approach I take to the guitar when I'm using a thick pick, the less chirp that it is because that, that chirp that that starts to go away almost completely. It's definitely more aggressive when you take this kind of angled approach as opposed to an economy pick more parallel approach to the string. So that all being said, it isn't that bad. I've definitely played picks where it was just all chirp all the time and you could hear 90% attack, 10% note. This is definitely more like 20% attack, you know, and that's with controlling it, right? That's more parallel. Um, and then 80% note. Anyway, it sounds, it, it feels really good in hand, and I think I prefer the horn one mostly because it's black and that's just because it's metal as fuck. But that's okay, right? Uh, now I'll go on to the bone one, which I haven't played as much, which has, which has the tip is definitely still there. Um, it lasts for a while. These aren't extremely expensive picks by any means. In fact, if you get the both of them, they're like 13 bucks. I think that's American dollars, which isn't so bad considering some of the picks I've talked about before, which are 13 bucks for one pick. Um, and, and I don't know why I, I haven't played the Bone one more. They're both equally as comfortable. Um, the Bone one, obviously, when you sweat a little bit, I feel like it starts to darken the pick just a little bit because it's not like super, super polished. And I can see that there's um, the, the fibrous kind of looking bony part, fi fiber probably isn't the right word, but you can kind of see the material of it, which is kind of interesting. Same with the, bo with the hor horn one, sorry, but the bone one just hasn't been played as much um, for no good reason. <laughs> So the thing that thicker picks afford you is quite a bit more loudness and I feel like you can get way more out of your string with a thicker pick uh, as opposed to a thinner one which requires quite a bit more effort in the right hand and if you're looking at therapeutic options to play the guitar obviously one of the things you can do is get a thicker pick. Again, you have that chirp thing but you have to work it into your playing. Uh, I find that these, these are really fun for solos and things like that because I like to have a big attack for every single note. I mean, it's just easier to play the uh, the guitar with a bit more attack uh, and thinner strings. So, I mean, that's why anyway, mom's team plays nines or eights with a 1.5 millimeter Dunlop. So, all in all, really enjoyable picks. For 13 bucks, it's actually quite worth it, I'd say. They last for, at minimum, a month of abuse, and that's mostly on one pick. This, this horn one really has taken a beating. I can see that I've started to shave it off. But the point still stays there, which is really important. In terms of Playability is definitely up there in terms of sound. It's manageable chirp. 
How about that for a thick pick as a rating? Manageable chirp as opposed to uh, unimaginable chirp. And yeah, I have actually been playing it regularly and teaching using these picks and experimenting and shifting it out with some old classic favorites of mine. And these are definitely going to be here to stay actually. They also come in this little red bag, which is really cool. Which, uh, you know, I think that's a nice little touch and they got, gave me some stickers and stuff. It's a good little little package that you get when you get these picks and, and I uh, appreciate it. And so that's about it, YouTube. Cheers, stay tuned for the next video. Okay.